Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the first Chem Lab of the year. The lab is finding out the density of water. That is the objective of the lab. But the first question is, what's density? Well, density, basically, we've learned it in class, it's mass divided by volume. How much material do you pack in a certain amount of space? So we can look at the density of objects, like here's styrofoam, here is an eraser. Which one is more dense? Well, the eraser is smaller, and it's definitely heavier than this block of styrofoam. But here, we're going to be focusing on the density of water for our lab. That's the objective. OK, what equipment are we going to be needing? Well, we won't have to worry about goggles or aprons for this lab, because we're working with water and plastic. We don't work with sharps. We're not working with glass, so we're safe there. We're going to be using a balance, an electronic balance. We have a regular beaker like this, a plastic one, a plastic cup to hold our water, our graduated cylinder for measuring, and our dropper. So where do we start? Well, in your lab paper, you are going to be examining different volumes of water, OK? Like 5, 10, 15, 20 milliliters of water here. So, Let's go with it. How do we start? Well, for one thing, we would need to, we're going to do our measurements in our graduated cylinder, and we're going to be pouring our water into this beaker, and we're going to be weighing it. That's how we're going to do our measurements. This cup is holding the water that we're going to be using for our experiment. So let's start with the procedure, shall we? Step one. You're going to take your cup here. Make sure that it's dry. If it's not, go ahead, take a paper towel, wipe it. Make sure that it's dry, because that will affect your results. Place it on the balance. Wait for the balance to settle. Now you've got a number, so you're going to write that down for your empty beaker mass. Now, do you need to do that for every single trial that you are doing? Yes. But won't it weigh the same? We don't know that. That's the part of the procedure. So now, step number two. You have water already in here. And let's say you need to pour out 10 milliliters of water, OK? Well, you know what? It's easier to just demonstrate it. So I got the faucet here. I'm going to put in some water. And I have here, and I have my cylinder. Now I'm going for 10 milliliters of water. So I find my 10 milliliter mark, and that's right here. And this is where you're going to need to know about the meniscus. Now we did talk about that in class. So when you are measuring, okay, make sure you're going to be pouring the water in. Carefully, carefully. Now when you're doing this, remember guys, that you want to make sure there are no air bubbles in here. Why do you not want air bubbles in here? That will affect your results. You will get bad data. OK, that's important. You want to make sure there are no air bubbles in here. OK, now that you have it, can we go and weigh this on the thing? No, 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 no. You're using this, remember? You weigh this. You're going to pour it in like this. Make sure you get every drop out. Now, if there's air bubbles in here, we don't care. It's if there's air bubbles in here, we do care about. Then you can go to the lab station and weigh it and write down your number. When you are done, remove it, go back to your lab station, pour the water back in your cup, get a paper towel, dry it off, have your partner go and weigh it again. And then you start the whole process again. So again, the objective of the lab, we're trying to find out what is the density of water. We're using all this equipment here. Ah, but what if I wanted you to measure 15 milliliters of water? Well, we'll do the same thing. We're going to come to here. All right. And let's say I'm not quite there yet. I'm just a little bit. That's where this comes in, because what you can do is you put this into your cup of water. And then what you can do is go ahead and add it drop by drop 
until you get to your measurement, okay, that you need. Let's say it was 15, you were at 14 milliliters. That's it, okay? That's it for this lab. Uh, do be aware that there is a quiz for this uh, lab, okay? And happy hunting trying to figure out the density of water.